Oh my God. Welcome to my home once again, baby. Babe, I told you that I'm keeping tired. I won't be staying for long. Accepted. Okay, just I have something for you briefly. All right, sit down. What's that? Baby, just sit down. Okay. All right. Uh. All right, come in. Okay. It's my fault. <laughs> What's behind your back? Give me your hands first. <laughs> <laughs> so what's behind my back? Yeah. Something I got for you. What did you get for me? I got you this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby. You got me a flower. So because you know I love flowers, that's the reason why you brought me to this house. So you can give me this. Yes. <laughs> Just to see the smile on your face. And Thank also, you. to ask you. What are you trying to do? <sighs> are you being serious? To say yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'll put it in. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks good on you. Oh my goodness, baby, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh my gosh, come here, come here. <laughs> so I'm gonna be your wife. Yes, uh, yeah, and um, one more thing, babe. One more thing. What? So Kelvin is the only one that knows about this, okay? So please don't tell anyone yet. Of course, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Okay, good. But I'll tell my sister. She's got to know. Ah, definitely. Come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm going to be your wife. Yes, you're going to be my wife soon. <laughs> I love my ring so much. Yes, I knew you'd love it. Maybe I love you. You've got taste. Oh, work was really stressful today. Oh my god, I swear. Okay. Yo. I'm so tired. Me too. <laughs> now I can wear my ring. <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. this looks so good on you. I love it. You're just made to be my wife. You know you've got taste for me, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. So what did your sister say when she saw it? Oh, I... I haven't told my sister yet. Why? I'll tell her today. Don't worry. I know she'll be so happy. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Because I, I feel like the luckiest man. How lucky? Tell me. The luckiest man in the world. Love is beautiful. <laughs> it's I love you. I love you so much. So be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. Your trust is important for this love to survive. Hi, sis. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Guess what? Guess what? I'm quite busy, Dad. No, you have to hear this, okay? It's very important. Please. I'm sorry, darling. My editor is online waiting, so I need to submit. I submit okay. Best man proposed to me, and I said yes! Desmond proposed to you? Yes! So, but 
how about your work policy? You will lose your job if they find out you have anything to do with Desmond. Don't worry about that. No one is going to find out. Trust me. Only Kevin knows about our engagement. But trust me, when I get to the office tomorrow, perhaps I may tell Nora. Are you going to wear your ring to work? I may not. <laughs> wear which ring to work? Once I go upstairs, I'll take off the ring immediately. Trust me. I'm not very comfortable with this whole development too. Why? For the obvious reason that you will lose your job. Come on, why are you being so paranoid? Stop! Listen, I have all of this planned out properly, okay? My love and I will get married, moving together, stay in the same house secretly, and no one is ever going to find out. You think that is possible? Very possible. Are you doubting me? Don't worry. Just go ahead with your work. While I go upstairs to take a cold shower. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Woo. Hello, Desmond. Oh, Janet, I'm good. Good evening. I've been trying to reach you. You're not taking my calls. You're not even responding to my messages. Oh, um, sorry about that. I was actually busy with work today. We need to talk, Desmond. It's very important. Um, okay, um, but can we talk in the morning? I'm really tired right now. First thing in the morning? Yes. All right, sweet dreams. All right. I met him first. I fell in love with him first. Why did he not see that? Am I not attractive enough? I have shown him all the green lights possible for him to know that I am so into him, yet he went for my sister. Or does he want me to come out playing to toast him? Does he want me to kneel down and beg him to marry me? <sighs> Besides, it's not proper that Natasha gets married before me. Janet. You promised to call first thing this morning, but you didn't. Why? Yeah, I woke up quite late. I had to. It's actually rushing out. No, Wahala. I was in a neighborhood, so I decided to stop by. Thank you. I want to ask you a question. How come you proposed to my sister barely one month after dating her? Well, because I truly, really love her. Okay, well, you know I know you better. I mean, we've come a long way. Classmates in secondary school, classmates in university. True. We've actually come a long way. <laughs> About what are you driving at? Why is he playing dumb? Why is he looking lost? Is he expecting me to open my Jeff, mouth okay? and tell him to marry me instead of my sister? Hasn't he been reading the love poems I've been sending to him? Too bad. Uh, yes. Did you read the poem I sent to you last night? Yeah, I actually read it. But this morning, it was really beautiful, a very beautiful piece. You're a wonderful poet. You said you're rushing to work. Yes, actually, yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs>
Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is Jeanetta. I'm Natasha Kalu's elder sister. She works at TCP. Yes, I know Natasha Kalu. Wait. Sir, if you don't mind, I'd like you to do something for me. I, I want Natasha to be transferred out of Lagos to your branch, any other branch outside Lagos, Kaduna, Abuja, anywhere, sir. Why? For what reason? Uh, sir, there's a male colleague who's been asking her out and I'm afraid she will fall for him because she likes him. I don't want her to lose her job because I know your company's policy. Who is that person? So I'm sorry, I can't reveal his name, sir. Why? Why won't you do that? I don't want to be responsible for anyone losing their job. All I want is for you to transfer my sister. That's all. Okay, I'll do something about it. Thank you very much, sir. Right, thank you. What this is, is a big problem? What is it? The MD secretary just told me that the MD is suspecting that some people are having an affair in the company. Are you are you serious? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking who else knows you and Desmond are having an affair aside from Kelvin? Nobody. Nobody knows about this. You're not being correct. And the problem here now is she said that the MD is closely monitoring you. That's beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud one. We went to his house last night from here. Natasha, that's a big risk. You know what will happen now? You have to call off this relationship, else you will lose your job. You know the company's policy. I cannot call off this relationship right now. I can't. This one proposed to me last night. <gasps> yes, yes. I can see. I have the engagement ring in my back. I just, I just don't want to wear it here because of drama. This is a big one. So what are you going to do now? Listen, I love this one so much. I can't even afford to lose him at all. I can't. I can't. You haven't answered me. What are you going to do? Someone has to build the cart. And what does that even mean? Oh, you guys are as fast as lightning. <laughs> we were actually on our way when we got your call. Hey, Natasha. Hi, hi. So, what is this thing I heard you did? I... I quit my job. Come on, why? Baby, come on. They're already on us already. What I did is just the best thing for the both of us. Because if they get to find out, we both lose our job. Is that what you prefer? But you know getting another good paying job will not come easy. That's me. Trust me, she did the right thing, okay? It's better for one to leave than the both of you to get sacked. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still can be cloud what the heart feels. 
looks are deceiving So trust is important for this love to survive We gotta learn how to trust each other Oh, Natasha, you're home? Yeah. This early? Are you going out? No. Just that I have quit my job. What? Yeah. I have stopped working. I've quit my job. What happened? Why? There are strong indications that the MD suspects that this month is seeing a female colleague in the office. So currently, the they have just been very nosy, trying to find out who this female colleague is. And? Oh, so that's the best thing for me to do. For the both of us. What? Come. Oh, please. Oh, are you okay? Are you in your right sense at, at all? You quit your job because of a man? Sis, what, what are you talking about? For goodness sake. That's the right thing for me to do for the both of us. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. You expect me to believe that you quit your job. A job that pays you 500 whopping thousand naira every month because of a man? Sis, this man is not just any other man. He's my fiance. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? What makes you think that he's not going to leave you tomorrow for another girl? Sis, that man can never leave me for another girl. What makes you think so? First of all, don't raise your voice at me. Secondly, I penned you down for a whole lot of things, but not daft. Obviously, you're not reasoning well. You don't know men. Sis, this one is my fiancé. And I trust him. And I love him. You know what? I'm done talking about this. Okay, I'm not going to have this with you. Excuse me. Understanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving, so trust is important <laughs> for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. We gotta learn how to trust each other. I trust you, you trust me. You okay? Yeah, why? Are you sure? Of course. But you know that she truly loves you, right? Natasha? Absolutely. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so, I know. And I love her more. Then you need to prove it to her. Look, for she to leave her job at CCP just to be with you, <laughs> bro, that's a true demonstration of the fact that she loves you and she wants to be with you. And you, my friend, have to reciprocate and not let her regret her actions. Yeah, there's nothing to regret. Personally, I can't wait to get married to her. Now you're talking. <laughs> ah, so it's good now. Aren't you 
you going to walk? Walk? Ah, but I told you. I told you yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. So you mean you're serious about quitting your well-paying job for a man? Oh, sis, please, please. Not again. Please, it's, it's just too early for It's this. too early for what? I need to talk some sense into your head. I cannot condone stupidity. You quit your well-paying job for a man. Tell me, why didn't he quit his own job knowing fully well that this is the repercussion for having a relationship with someone at the office? Why did he not quit? Because it's not a subject of discussion for the both of us. I on my own decided to quit the job. And you could not run this by me? Because I already know what your decision would be like. Look at you. Look at what you're saying to me. Hey. You don't have sense. Actually, I thought you were very, very intelligent. But you're not. So what do you want to do? You want to wallow in a cocoon, right? You want to just keep yourself enclosed in a space? Nope. What is your plan? I will dust my CV and start job hunting again. And you think you find a better paying job than the one you have at TCP? I'll be up for. No problem. I want to remind you that the bills in this house will still be sorted out by you and I. 50-50. Let me also remind you that it is your turn to send money to mom. Listen to me and listen good. I don't want to hear stories. Else, I will sell you at the meat market. Do you understand me? I understand. You won't sell me, don't worry. I've heard you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, big sis. I love you. It's and you'll be hush, 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 hush. Love is beautiful. Baby, my sister thinks that I made a very big mistake on quitting my job with TCP. I fear it's just in on the fact that she thinks that it's, it's really so hard getting a good paying job again. It's okay. I know what to do. Okay, so how about we start making um, preparations for our wedding? Okay. So, what date exactly do you want it to be? So, I was looking at my calendar and I... I noticed that December 30th is on a Saturday. So how about we make that our wedding day? Are you serious? Mm. No, but that's my birthday date. Are you serious? It's not our wedding day. Baby. Yes. Thank you so much. You're now you see why I love you, right? Because you're so thoughtful. <laughs> I love it too. You know what? I'll just call my printer right away to start printing our wedding cards. No time to waste. It's a cast on stone. And don't even think that you want to change the dates because no stories. <laughs> well, don't you think we should wait till I, at least I go see your parents and ask for your hand formally before we can start printing the cards? No way. No way. Baby, just stop, Joe. I can't wait. The December is just a few months away from now. Oh. Yeah, yeah! Guess what? We have already started making preparations for our okay. wedding. Okay. I already spoke to the guy to print our wedding cards and we scheduled a meeting. Whoo, you're not wasting any time. That's so fast! No <laughs> time to waste, my darling. Ah, ah, yeah, Imagine getting married on my birthday. That's a big deal. Yeah, I can't afford for that day to change, babe. Man, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, Bye. love. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. And you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll go get her. Um, but before then, I would like to talk to you. Mm. Okay, sit. I'm sure by now, Natasha must have told you that we got engaged. Yeah, she mentioned it. Okay, and consequently, she decided to quit her job because it's against the company rule that co-workers date or get married. 
Like, I just want to assure you that she will not regret it. Let me because... ask you a question before you continue all of this. Um, why was it Natasha that had to quit her job? You claim you love her, right? Why didn't you quit your job instead of her? Of course, I could have done that, but... But you didn't. But why? I... Janet, I, I... Why are you stammering? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a simple question. You had to manipulate her by engaging her so she could quit her job? That's not correct, That's Janet. That's very, very correct. You see, Natasha still gets butterflies at the mere mention of marriage. So she'll fall for such a thing. That's the kind of thing you can never try with me. You are the man. You want to marry her. The honest lies on you to quit your job, not the other way around. I, I assure you, I did not mention it to her to quit her job. Neither did I encourage it. Yeah, but you were happy that she did. What's going on here? Listen, Desmond. I'm not interested in your promises because I feel like they're empty. All I really want is for my sister here to get a well-paying job. Sis! Please just stop this. Can you please just keep quiet? Baby. I'm really so sorry for everything. Janet really pissed me off in there. She really did. But how come you didn't tell me you were coming to see her? Well, the same way you didn't tell me you were going to quit your job. Well, I'm sorry. It's fine. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding. Janet! Janet! Uh -huh. Why are you shouting my name? I do not like the way you spoke to my man today. Okay? Such rudeness was totally uncalled for. You should be happy you have a senior sister who can speak up. Do not speak for me! I know what I want. I'm not a baby. No, you don't. You don't know anything. That is why a man like him can manipulate you and you cannot see. You are too blind to see. Listen, I am just warning you, or rather telling you, to stop being rude to my man, I do not like it, okay? I say hey, no. Go back, go back. Stand, go, go back, go back. The next time I'm speaking to you and you raise your voice at me or raise those your tiny little fingers to point at me, I will teach you a lesson you'll never forget and I will show you why I'm your older sister. Go in there, get your laptop and go find a job. That is what you should be concentrating on. I just hate you. Get out. You're too mean. You're too mean. Go inside. Nonsense. Can you, can, you, can, can you imagine? I think like you, you, you spoke to my man. You have a man. So we should all run away for you. Hey, babes. Hi, babe. Hi, hi. I'm really struggling oh. with the fact that you're no longer with us at TCP. Hmm. So sorry. Don't worry. You'll get used to it soon, okay? So how is work? Work is fine. No, it's all good. Okay, so I'm just about to step out. So I'll call you back much later, okay? Uh-uh. You're ready job hunting. Job hunting? Me? Hell no! <laughs> you know what, girl? I'm actually about to step out to go look for my perfect all for my wedding reception. Eh? God, please don't really do my own no. Hmm. All right, love. I'll talk to you later. Don't worry. It'll happen soon. Bye. Love it.
Hey, babe. I'm good. Uh, what's up? I'm on my way going back home. Baby, but I told you last night that I want to go look for a hall for our wedding reception. My love, it went really well. I inspected about six halls, but I like the one at Kisito Event Center. Why? Baby, I don't understand. Are you saying we can't afford it or what? Baby, please. Please, no. Okay, you know what? I'm so tired. I'll call you back much later. Bye. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is important for this love to survive. Good afternoon, sis. Good afternoon. How did it go? How did what go? The job hunt. Isn't that what you went for? I didn't go job hunting. I actually went to inspect some holes. Hey. <laughs> yeah. For what? For my wedding, of course. Natasha, shouldn't you be on the streets of Lagos looking for a job? Oh, gosh. Of course I'm going to get a job. For now, all I want to do is to plan my wedding. Let Desmond do that. Go ahead, go out there and find yourself a good job. No way, okay? It is my wedding and I have a wedding to plan. Are you listening to yourself? No, Natasha, are you listening to yourself? And if you are, are you making any sense to you? Oh my gosh, big sis, why are you, why are you, why are you being so paranoid? I don't understand. What's the problem? Okay, listen. My only primary focus right now is my wedding. Any other thing is secondary to me. You get it? Excuse me. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Hello. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm fine, Janet. Good. Desmond, you're supposed to get my sister another job. Not ask her to take up the responsibility of planning your wedding. I don't understand. Let me make my point simple. If you can't plan your wedding yourself, get a professional wedding planner to do it for you. Let my sister concentrate on getting another job. Are you there? Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Well noted. Thank you. And one more thing. Look, um, I have a meeting actually. I'll call you back later, okay? Mm -hmm. Ella, come, 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 come. What is it? Come, come, sit. Come, quickly. Job vacancies. But the locations I'm seeing here are quite far. Kaduna, Jos, Uyo, and Calabar. And there's no Lagos here. Mm -hmm. They're far. I, I can't walk outside of Lagos. I can't go far. Why? It's simple. My man is based in Lagos and I can't actually... You can't what? You can't what? Natasha, let me tell you something. Long distance relationships, they're sweet too. Eh? Very sweet. You know, it's no longer like before, where there wasn't any communication, no internet, no telephone. Uh -huh. Now, eh? Everything has been made easy. And you know, 
Hmm. Absence, they say, makes the mind grow fonder. When your man is not around for a while, eh? It just, the love just fills your tummy that when you see him, it will manifest. You will like it, too. I, that's what I like the most. Long distance relationships. Sis, please. Okay. Try it. No, I can't try anything. Try what? What am I trying? I cannot go far. My man is based in Lagos and I cannot leave him. At least for now. I can't walk anywhere outside of Lagos. I can't. Give me my phone. You cannot walk outside Lagos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of man. Stay here and die here now. Stay in Lagos. Man rapper. I don't know what your sister thinks that I'm doing to you. Uh, why do you think so? I don't know. She called me earlier today when I was at work and she was just... I don't even understand what she was saying. Baby, please. Please. Let's talk about something else and forget about my sister for now. For now. Yeah, okay. Let's forget. Baby, I saw this wedding gown online. It was so beautiful. Baby, it's really going to suit me so well. <laughs> Baby, I was just thinking about like, I would want um, my bridal train to be about like 15 presents. What do you think? Uh Damn, look, I, I think we should talk about how we're going to live as a couple, you know, and how we manage our finances. Let's not forget, baby, who's going to be your best man? Kelvin, right? Yeah, sure. I said it! I know! I know, because you guys are just so close. I said it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, on my own, I think I'm going to use Stephanie instead of Nera as my chief bridesmaids. Mm. Hmm. Hey, sis. Natasha, where are you? I'll get water. Okay. Uh, I'm in Desmond's house. So I guess you're not coming home tonight? Nope, I'm not coming back home today. And you didn't think to tell me? I was just... I was going to tell you about it. So, this is the reason you quit your job. So you could just spend your night with him at will? This guy has not even married you. And you're already acting like a wife. Listen, you're cheapening yourself. You're making things so easy for him. Don't come crying to me when he dumps you. When he uses you and dumps you like a piece of rag. Don't give me any sob stories. Do you understand? Good night, sis. I love you. Bye. <laughs> This is my sister. Nawala is just too much. Uh-uh. What did she I say? Think. It's my sister. She just keeps calling, raising her voice and ranting on the line and it's just so annoying. It doesn't make any single sense to me though. Okay. Um, so, about what I was saying earlier, I think we should talk about how we live as married couples, you know, like... What kind of house do you think we should start with? Do we start with like a five-bedroom? Duplex or do we, since we, I feel since we're just starting, we could start off small, maybe two beds or three, because I know you guys, ah. you women, you have. <laughs> baby, look at this, come and see this, come and see this, like, let me see. <laughs> oh my god, this couple they dance so well. Oh, it's so entertaining. <laughs> maybe I love this, I do, I love this so much. Wait, did you, did you? hear anything I said just now? Of course I did. Baby, listen to me. Baby, listen to me. On our wedding day, we have to start rehearsing now. Because on that day, we have to give them. Our wedding's gonna be fabulous, you know? It's gonna be litty, litty. I'll be dancing like this. Shakira, Shakira. Babe, 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 babe. Beyonce, Beyonce. <laughs> Can we please talk about how we will live as a couple? I feel like it's important. It's more important than the wedding, which is just a day. Desmond. Desmond. I don't like what you're talking about. I don't like this at all. What is this? Why 
Why don't you like talking about our wedding? Let's talk about our wedding. Why? 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 Why do we have to talk about our wedding? I think the marriage itself is more important than the wedding. But all you're interested in is just talking about a one-day event, wedding, 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 wedding. Because this same wedding means a whole lot to me. But you're acting like it means nothing to you. Then later you tell me, oh, you love me. You love me. Maybe you're just being so childish. Honestly. I am being childish. What, what Did I, you just call me a childish? Babe, what I was trying to say... Hold it. Keep your explanation to yourself. I'll take my leave. I'm not wanted yet. And now you're about to act more childish. Goodbye. Really? Too childish. Why are you back? I am not in a good frame of mind right now. If you like being in a bad frame, just because I've told you the truth, you can't stay with a man when he has not married you. Don't even know how these girls, young girls, think these days. She's not taking her calls. I just want to know if she got home safe. And there's no point calling that sister of hers, that one. It's a bag of trouble. I am so mad at him right now. You can't believe he called me childish. God. Childish. What did you do? Sometimes I just don't understand men. Trust me. I was supposed to spend my night with him yesterday. But I laughed because he insulted my person. Okay. Even when I threatened, you know, to leave, expecting that he was going to pet me. Or say, baby, sorry, you know, call me sweet names. Okay, my darling, I'm really sorry. He never did. He watched me. I left his place. Can you believe that? I left. At some point, I, you know, I said to him, I said, baby, you know what? You called me church. For that, I'm going to take a walk. Expecting, thinking he was going to say, baby, you know, to hold my hands. Yeah. And say, baby, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. He never did. When I even stretched my hands to say, okay, let me pick up my bag or my shoe. Thinking my man would even tell me, baby, stop. He never said stop. He watched me. I left. I walked away. Wow. And he has And then you... And then, and then later he will tell me that he loves me. How can such a man love me? He doesn't love me. Oh. Don't you tell me he loves me next time. Don't say it. And he hasn't called you up until now? He called me last night. Okay. Why would I even want to be with a man like that? Why would I want to pick up his call? For what reason? When I already left. When he was there, I waited. Mm. Thinking he would beg me. He did not beg me. Yeah. Then I had gone home. He was not calling for me to pick his call. Okay, I will not say, okay, baby. <laughs> baby for what? Baby for what? When my own lover, my own sweetheart, did not beg me at his place. Mm. He watched me and left. Maybe he had plans. No, really. I think he had plans. I left his house. He was not calling me late. If it was you, will you pick up the call? No, answer. Now, Nora, will you pick up the call? Let's be truthful. Will you pick up the call? It's actually annoying and I understand. God bless you. That's, let's end it there. Drink your wine. Thank you. a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust.
Natasha. Natasha, are you okay? I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. You know you can talk to me. I'm your sister. Good. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, I've heard you. It's okay, I've heard, okay? <laughs> Just do whatever you want to do. Just do it. I won't say anything. <laughs> all right, I'll call you back, all right? <laughs> You're still here? Yes, I was on the call for about 30 minutes. Oh, finally you've called her now, after all the whole bragging and everything. <laughs> I wasn't on the call with Natasha. Okay. Yeah, I was talking to my cousin, Monica. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah, I thought you knew me. <laughs> Wait, you really don't know me? Or you think I was joking when I said I won't call her? Like, for real? Why would I call her? She's the one who wronged me. Why should I call her? That's my look. Why don't you just try and reach out to her, okay? And probably create an atmosphere where she can apologize to you. Really? She walked out on me. She did. If I endorse that now, if I condone it, I'll see a lot of that in marriage. And you know me now. I just have to let her know what I like and what I don't. It's just that easy. She can call me if she wants to talk and apologize. Oh, shit. Marriage counselor. You get it. <laughs> Allow me to do my small chakra for her now. <laughs> Seriously, do just do no, the need. No, no. When she's ready, she'll, she'll call me. Peter, I am giving you this job because I really trust you. Just so you know. I know. See, as far as this job is concerned, I am not just trustworthy. I am dependable. Oh. I am reliable. In fact, I'm everything ever. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, that's fine, but one more thing. Okay. I want this car to be extremely very solid and very classy. <laughs> oh. Talking about classy, let me show you the true definition of classy. Okay. Oh, you, you've got samples? This is exactly what I tend to give you. Ah, Peter, this is... I, lo I love this particular one. Oh my goodness, take five. Just take, take, take. <laughs> I, told you. I love this so much. I told you. <laughs> is it, is it well? You know why I'm laughing? Why are you laughing? You don't know that I know you too well. I know your likes. Mm -hmm. I know your dislikes. <laughs> are you serious? Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you do for me? Okay. You had a touch of pink to mine. Take off this uh, gold color and add pink. Okay. That's all. I love the design. It's so beautiful. Okay. This is my perfect choice. I'm glad you love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Kelvin, Kelvin, can you believe that I just, I just saw Natasha with another man. Bro, you saw her with another man? Doing what? What I just said I saw. You know what? It's okay, it's okay, I will talk to you later, alright? Alright, bye.
I should have confronted them. I should have confronted her when I saw her with that guy. Your man called. Who? Desmond, of course. Is anything the matter? No. Nika, what you did is wrong. You can't just go back to Lagos without telling uncle. <laughs> but what if he goes to the police and fi files for a missing person? <laughs> That's not funny. You're laughing. Who's laughing with you? You know what? I'll call him right now. Uh uh. You don't have to call him now. You don't have to call him. Let me use the restroom. I'll be back. In your mind now, you've grown. You've I'll forgotten that I used to beat you when I'll you were small. Call you. Big girl. Yes, sister. Hi. What do you want? Is that the welcome I'm supposed to get from you? Natasha, what are you doing in my house? Des, I can't find the remote. Who's that? Wow, you've lost the right to ask me that question. So this is the reason? This is the reason why you're blocking me from entering into the house? I can't believe this. I can't believe this. To you, talk to me. I caught him with another lady in his house. So, <laughs> I tried to warn you. Eh? You can't trust men. The worst part is that he sent me away. What? He didn't even allow me coming. He said he just sent me away. Sent you away from I'm his house. You. Okay. Don't worry, God sense. He sent you away. That, that, that house, Abby. That same house. I'm coming. He sent you away. Sent my whole sister away. <laughs> It's my sister. Hey, Jennifer, you. No, no, what's that? I don't. It's my sister. I joke to you. I ask you. Listen, get me on you. The next time you make my sister feel less of a woman, I'll be back, and you will hate me for the rest of your life. Idiot.
Yes. What's the problem? There's no problem. I had voices. Angry voices. Monica, I said there's no problem. Will you just go back to the kitchen unless you're done cooking? I'm not done. Are you sure there's no problem? Your face is not looking very good. How can someone's face not look good? Your face is not looking very good. Can you just go? Oh, no, do. Listen, Kelvin. I have made myself a promise that I will never marry from that family again. They're so uncouth and rude. But did you do anything annoying that made her slap you? You seem to not have been listening to what I've been saying. She asked me if I think her sister is a joke to me. And I said no. The next thing I felt was a thunderous slap across my face. What? That's totally wrong now. Why would she do that? She's just so lucky that I don't believe in hitting the woman. No, 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 look. It's a good thing that I didn't even touch her, okay? She's a woman. Remember that. She's lucky. Honestly. Very lucky. But, I don't know, it's just so crazy though. Just little thing of yesterday has snowballed into this. Because I just feel like if you guys were talking, you could have just mentioned to her that your cousin came visiting. Uh, it's like you've forgotten I saw her with a man. Right? <sighs> yeah, that's true. Uh... So you're seriously trying to tell me that this one cheated on you? Yeah. I caught him myself. Red handed. He refused to let me into his house. The girl came out from the bedroom and was calling him sweet names. I honestly don't know why he doesn't want me to see her face. And who is the loser now? Hmm? You quit your job because of a man. I mean, who does that? Now he's seeing someone else who probably has a secure job. And you're here. You know, truly, it's, it's really hard to believe that Desmond can be this unreasonable. I just felt it was a risk worth taking because of love. Darling, that's so childish. I mean, you don't go into a relationship without your head. Your head must accompany your heart. Because Desmond was so sweet. It was really so loving. I don't know what really happened. And I tried to explain to you. I tried to tell you, but no. You, you felt I was jealous or envious of your relationship. You know, hindsight, they say, is the best teacher. This, all of this doesn't just, it's not making sense. I mean, a man proposes to you. And the next day, you quit your job. And barely two weeks later, he's already seen someone else. Hmm. Darling, the only thing I can tell you right now is you've been scammed. Yeah. Love is beautiful. Yes. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is important for this love to survive. A man proposes to you. And the next day, you quit your job. And barely two weeks later, he's already seen someone else. Hmm. Darling, the only thing I can tell you right now is you've been scared.
trust each other. Oh. Hi, this one. How are you? I'm good. So there's this thing I'm hearing. As a matter of fact, I was going to come talk to you about it earlier today. Okay. What is it you can talk to me? Uh, are you really cheating on Natasha? No, I don't want to talk about this, please. I've moved on with my life. So does this mean it's over between you guys? It's your friend Natasha that's cheating on me. How? Like I said, I don't want to talk about this. Your friend sent her sister over to my place to come fight me. In my house, she gave me a slap. Lie. Okay, I'll tell her the slap was well received, all right? But the next time they try that sort of nonsense again, they will hear from my lawyers. Jeanette slapped you? I will not marry someone whose sister will come over to my house and fight me. All right, so please. If, please, if you don't mind, I think I have a meeting. I have one. Wait, so you're going to leave me in your office. You're not serious. I beg. I'll talk to you later. What did he say? See, listen, just leave that guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I am cheating on him and then he's just talking about it now. He's just looking for ways to justify his actions. Mm. I, I have no idea about that. I'm just hearing about this now. I'll call you back much later. Sorry. Oh gosh, why? Why would she do this? Why? Sis. Is it true you went to Desmond's house and you slapped him? Ah, yes, so. My plan was to break his head. But he was smart enough to run inside and close the door. Sis, what? Gosh. Why would you have to slap him? Why? Are you okay? You quit your job because of that man. And you are not even upset enough. Is it until he goes and marries somebody else before you realize that he's a demon? Listen, that demon cannot win. You quit your job, right? Fine. But he must lose his job. Do you understand what I'm saying? He must lose his job. Come, sit down. Let's strategize. Quickly. Let's plan. I'll tell you how we're going to do this. Sit. Quickly. I'll tell you how we're going to do this. Yes, what can I do for you? This one. I gave up my job here because of you. But what did I get back in return? Lies. Betrayer and disappointment. Look, Natasha, listen. No, you listen to me. All I'm simply asking for is my job. Else, I'll make you lose yours. I'm 
What the hell are you talking about? That will not save me there, me. All I'm simply asking for is my job. But if you choose to be difficult to me, then I'll be forced to see not just the MD, but the CEO of this company. And I'll tell him what transpired between the two of us while I was a staff of this company. I dare you, Natasha, do your worst. Okay, we'll see about that. Now get out before I throw you out. Try it. That's why you try it. Try it if you can. You see that guy? I will make sure I deal with him in this office. I will make sure I mess with his career. How did we get here? Do you and this guy used to profess love at each other? Profess which nonsense love are you talking about? Huh? Girl, I hate that guy with full passion. I hate him so much. I'm not being with him. But don't look at Nothing will ever change it. <sighs> Natasha, <laughs> you need to calm down. You think I'm joking, right? That's what you think. I am joking. You're telling me, calm down, calm down, calm down, what's this? He thinks I'm one of those girls that he can just use and dump. But I'll tell him that he has met this match. I will shout. I will shout. Please take it easy. Hey. What do you have to say about this Desmond and Natasha drama? Oh, that. <laughs> the thing is, Desmond told me that he's no longer interested in the relationship. But that's not fair. He promised her marriage, made her quit her job. And now she has been here threatening fire and brimstone. So her. She did, but I don't know, man. Can't you do something to probably just bring them back together? We are friends for a reason. <sighs> I think we can fix it. Hey, bro. I heard that the boss is traveling, you know. <laughs> for real? To where? To London. <laughs> oh, for what? Ask me. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, good. Hi, guys. Hi. So we're here. Nora, what is the meaning of this? Natasha, please sit down. Please sit. Kelvin, what's she doing here? Look, I need you to calm down, okay? We need to talk. Please. It's either she walks away from this place. I walk. To hell with you! Who even want to share some space with you? Nonsense. Natasha! Oh, no, bro. Natasha! That's what you want to be like this. <laughs> Natasha! What's wrong with you? What's going on? Why is your face like that? Hi, what Janet. To her? Hi. She was feeling dizzy, so I decided to follow her home just to make sure she's okay. Uh -uh. Sorry. What exactly happened? I'm super worried. Nothing. I'm okay. You don't look okay. Trust you, Miss. Yeah. Ah! Natasha! 
Uh, we have to go to the hospital. Natasha! Natasha! Let me, let me get my car keys. My car keys. Let me grab it. You have to tell me. No. There's no way I can tell him anything. Wait. Don't tell me you're considering getting rid of this baby. Hell no. I cannot do a thing like that. Then go ahead and tell him. Tell him that you're carrying his child. Yeah, but if I tell him, then he will start feeling like I'm trying to win back his heart to my pregnancy. Well, you and I both know that you love him and you cannot wait to get back in his life. So, you have to tell him that you're carrying his child. Besides, should we talk about the fact that raising a baby in this economy is very expensive? And you, my darling sister, don't even have a job. Think about it. Okay? Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Love is leaving. So trust is important for this love. To survive We gotta learn how to trust each other What is it again? Eh? Can't you just let me be? Listen Desmond I came to tell you that I am pregnant for you <laughs> You know you can laugh for all I care <laughs> You can laugh. But just know that I'm carrying your baby. I know. You can't be pregnant for me when you're sleeping with other men. I do not blame you. Just start getting ready. Because this is your responsibility. No, oh, no, no, no. You can't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Go and look for who got you pregnant, okay? It's definitely not me. You think I'm joking, right? Oh, no. That's what you think. <laughs> you better start getting ready and be a man. Like Natasha. You can pin another man's baby on me. I so please just can you just go get out of my house? Yes. She must be kidding. That's me. He denied the pregnancy. He what? He denied our baby. Is that guy normal? Does he want me to show him madness? I'm coming. Sis? 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 Don't worry, I'm coming. What are you going to do? Don't worry. Right, you said you have something to tell me. Yes, it's about Natasha. She claims she's pregnant for me. Can you imagine that? Okay. Is that not possible? First of all, she has to tell me. Desmond! Thought... Desmond! Only an irresponsible man would deny his pregnancy. Hey, 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 Janet! Please, you cannot just come into my office and bring my personal matters into it. You don't bring personal matters into workplaces, and don't you know? I think you can insult my family. Insult my sister, get her pregnant and deserve any courtesy. No, you don't. Listen, my family and I demand you take full responsibility of the pregnancy. This is not the right place to discuss this. Can we please just go 
somewhere else to talk about this, please. Is your name Desmond? Did I not see you here before I started speaking to him? Hey, listen. What's going on here? Good morning, boss. Good morning, sir. Good morning, yeah. Anything the matter? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Something is the matter. You see this man here? He got my sister pregnant. Abandoned her after promising her marriage. Desmond, sir. Fix this. Okay? Okay, sir. I said fix it now. Don't let it happen again. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You heard him. Fix it. Who is that? Come in. I came so we can talk. You can have your seat. So I'll just go straight to the point. I am willing to accept the pregnancy and take full responsibility on one condition. What condition? That you will agree to do a parental DNA test. What? Yes, because I, I, I mean... Get out. I should leave. Get out. Peter, I totally forgot that I asked you to print out a sample of our wedding card. Not until this morning that you called that you were bringing them. Yeah, I understand that kind of a thing. You know, planning a wedding is not an easy task. I know you'll be busy with so many other things. I wish. You see, the thing is that this wedding won't be going anywhere. I don't understand. Why? So this is who you are. Hmm? I gave you my heart. I gave you my trust and this is what you choose to do with it. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about him. This guy. Here. Since you've clearly chosen him over me, what are you still doing with my ring? Give it back to me. Chosen who over who? That's when why are you why are you making a fool of yourself? Hey, don't you insult me again. For goodness sake, this is a printer and a friend. He came here to bring a sample of her wedding card. But what's the point? Because I already told him that the wedding won't be holding on anymore. Wedding card? Yes, you can have it. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels, looks are deceiving. So trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Oh, we gotta learn how to trust each other. I trust you, you trust me. Learn how to trust each other. Where is love to survive when we trust each other? Learn how to trust each other. I'm ready and I'm shy. We gotta learn. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything, but a little misunderstanding can. Be cloud 
not what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is in part in for this love to survive. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Babe, I'm... I'm staring at the cards and it's beautiful. Beautiful but now very useless. Why, why would you say it's useless? It's not useless. Like I, I still want to go on with the marriage. In your dreams. Hm. There's no wedding holding on anymore. Okay? Just come tomorrow and pick up your engagement ring. I am done. Oh, why, why, why would this? Why, why would you say that? Desmond, I can't just leave it a man who is so big to apologize to me. Apologized? What's the point of the whole wedding or marriage? Like you'd always clamor for. Oh, okay, um, babe, let me explain. So the lady you heard her voice the day you came to the household is actually my cousin, Monica. I wasn't cheating on you. Of course I know that already. I know the lady who came to your house was your cousin. I found out the other day. That's the main reason why I didn't bring up the talk anymore. Okay, so why do you say I'm too big to apologize? Because you called me childish. You called me that. And that's the main reason why I left your house the other night. Did you apologize for that? Oh yeah, true. Maybe about that, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm honestly sorry. I'm so sorry, also. It is too late. I don't need your apology. Keep it to yourself. Baby. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is in part and for the love. Natasha, you've been poking at that food for over an hour. What's the problem? It's Desmond. Okay, what about him? I am still in love with him. I could have told you that for free. I just wish I was there when he asked for a DNA test. I would have given him a piece of my mind. He called me last night. And he said he was still interested in marrying me. Oh. Yeah. But I told him that I'm not interested. That he should come back and take his ring. I don't want. Okay. You and I both know that's a lie. Because I know you're still in love with him and you still want to marry him. Yes. I really do want to marry him, but... I just said that to him just so he could beg me. And pet me, but he never did. Last night we spoke, and I ended the call hoping that he would call me back, but he never did. That guy is just so silly. God, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand you people and this love and relationship thing. It's, I think you guys are crazy. Oh, you're here. Please, we need to talk. I guess you're here to see Natasha. But I still have a couple of things I want to say to you. Okay. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving, so trust is in part and for this love to survive. We gotta learn how. 
Jennifer, I am sorry. I am very sorry for everything that has happened. I'm terribly sorry. Shouldn't you be saying this to Natasha? Look, she doesn't. She asked me to come get my ring. Natasha is waiting for you to come marry her. Huh? Yeah. She's still very much in love with you. for everything. I'm sorry. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Oh, I'm so sorry. We gotta learn how to trust each other. I trust you. I miss you more. I miss you more than you can ever imagine. Baby, I'm so sorry I called you childish. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry you were walking out on me that night. It's okay, it's all my fault. I regret it. I regret everything, I swear. I regret it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. to just slap both of you. Continue kissing, Joe. I called him, he did not call me back. She, she saw me, she did not see me. Excuse me. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is important for this love. To survive We gotta learn how to trust each other oh, We gotta learn how to trust each other I trust you, you trust me We gotta learn how to trust each other What is love to survive when we must trust each other We gotta learn how to trust each other each other. 